NABE has been around for 60 years. Over the last 60 years, the role of business economists has evolved dramatically. As the role of the economists has expanded, NABE's grown along with it. How did I become a business economist? Well, first of all, uh, when I first started, the name did not exist. Uh, when the National Association of Business Economists emerged, uh, I decided it was a nice thing to join because that's exactly what I do. Uh, as you say, I eventually became president. Economics is an applied field, and it's really good to see an organization that's devoted to putting economics to work. NABE is a real-world organization, and uh, most of the members are responsible to boards and CEOs and have to figure out what's really going on, not what theory says ought to be going on. I um, first became familiar with the organization when I was a Fed governor in the 1990s. Um, I really appreciate the fact that NABE is an organization that is focused on what is happening in the economy. The short-term issues of importance and the longer-term issues affecting U.S. and global economic performance. And the members of NABE are very knowledgeable about these issues. What I got out of NABE was sitting down and listening to somebody talk about industries I knew very little about. That sort of information was indispensable to me. And as a policymaker, when I was at the Federal Reserve, NAEP was a very useful sounding board and very useful source of information. I think NAEP has a uh, real role to play in the intersection of the global economy and the political world, uh, because the political world doesn't understand the global economy very well. NABE has been one of the lead organizations advocating for the quality, timeliness, and relevance of economic statistics and economic measurement. I think the engagement that we have with statistical agencies has certainly uh, provided a platform for us to help work with them and to partner with them. Well, we pay attention. We watch what's happening and we speak out. One of the big pluses of an organization like NAIB uh, is that it doesn't get caught up in partisan politics. That's a great asset to have these days. NAIB conferences are a great way to not only expand your network, but also expand your skill set. Uh, you can count on a NAIB audience to listen, uh, to pay attention, and to ask very, very good questions. I always found it interesting, worthwhile, to talk to NABE audiences, and I gave some of my most considered speeches. I, whenever I went to speak to NABE, I knew that I was talking to professionals, and I wanted to be sure that whatever I spoke about was interesting and, and would, would um, challenge the economic thinking. NABE has made me a better economist. It's given me a broader perspective on issues. I always learn something at a NABE conference. It's a wonderful opportunity to spend time with, with like-minded people. I think one of NABE's roles, uh, which is very important, is uh, being a bridge between the younger generation of economists and the senior economists. We need to make sure that we're cultivating the young professionals that have the training and the expertise to move into positions uh, in these various uh, sectors. NABE helps uh, educate economists um, on technical things. I think that the inauguration of the CBE uh, is a major plank for our, 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 our future. I also think, you know, there's something about NAVE that always wants to give back. And that idea of uh, giving back to the organization in the form of the NAVE Foundation is a big deal. Certainly the financial crisis taught us how um, small the world actually is and how interconnected the world is. But it's no longer uh, the National Association of Business Economists of the United States. It should be a global focus because the interrelationships are all there. Uh, NAIF has been able to evolve with the times, expanding its programs and expanding its uh, content together 
with the changing world. Our programs have evolved. We've launched new conferences in transfer pricing and tech economics. I do see the um, tech economics as an expansion of what business economics once promised. What the old corporate economists did uh, back in the 50s and 60s, we're doing in a new way. We're using new tools, new analytics. I think one of the ways in which the role of the economist has evolved uh, is to take advantage of lots of new kinds of data that are available for understanding the economy. The rise of big data and the rise of sort of micro level data that can then be used to make macro determinations or that can even enhance microeconomics is really impacting the field in an interesting way. Navy is flexible enough, right? To evolve with the times, that's what makes Navy special and actually will make Navy be here for another 60. I imagine there will be areas where NAB is uh, uh, having conferences and focusing on in 10 years that I couldn't even dream up right now. I've had a long history of NAB and uh, it was always one of my fondest uh, uh, remembrances. Thanks so much and happy anniversary.